Hello everyone and welcome to another video on YouTube channel of tutorialspedia.com. This video tutorial is part of series of MuleSoft video tutorials on Tutorialspedia YouTube channel where uh, different topics and features of MuleSoft ESP will be explained step by step. In this video tutorial, I will give you an overview and an introduction of MuleSoft Mule ESP and basics of Mule ESP along with its components will be explained. Before I proceed with this video, I will request you to please subscribe to the channel and press bell icon if you haven't subscribed before so that you are able to get latest videos from the channel as and when uploaded. So here is the agenda of what topics we are going to cover in this video. First of all, I will have a high level overview of enterprise service bus concepts. Then I will shed some light on MuleSoft ESP basics. And then we will talk about different components of uh, AnyPoint platform, including AnyPoint Studio, AnyPoint Design Center, API Manager, Mule Runtime, API Exchange, and Access Management. We will also talk about AnyPoint Studio, which is an IDE for implementing uh, integration services using MuleSoft. So first of all, before we go into the details of uh, MuleSoft ESP, uh, we should have a generic idea what ESP is. I have already created another video in detail where I have explained in, in, in greater details what ESP is, what are the capabilities of an ESP, how ESPs are beneficial to any organization, and what are the challenges associated with ESP. I will put a um, uh, link to that video in the suggestion box so that you can see that video as well if you are interested to learn more about ESP. But here I will just uh, briefly and uh, at a high level explain what ESP is. ESP basically is a bus based architecture which enables integration of multiple heterogeneous systems and applications in an efficient and professional manner. So what happens is that in case of uh, 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 any organization where we have multiple systems and application which needs to be integrated, and uh, an old legacy approach is to have point-to-point -point integrations where we have uh, n minus one connection from each uh, system to another system if we have n number of systems to be integrated. So it results in a spaghetti, uh, a spaghetti kind of situation and spaghetti kind of architecture with a lot of mess being created with every system getting integrated to another system independently. So this result into, into the performance implications and also it's not much scalable. And contrary to that, enterprise service bus architecture is a much more uh, sophisticated approach where we have a centralized bus which is responsible for different type of actions to be performed and it enables communication and integration between the systems in an organization in a much professional and efficient manner. So uh, in this example, as you can see in the diagram, we have multiple systems. Some of them are producers, some of them are consumers. Producers are producing certain type of messages and it depends on each producer what kind of protocol it is using, what kind of uh, format it is using to produce the messages. But it's responsibility of enterprise service bus in the, in the middle, uh, which acts as an intelligent middleware to make sure that messages are routed, messages are transformed, messages are translated, messages are orchestrated and communicated to the end system in the, re in the desired format. So all these things are covered and uh, uh, being taken care of by enterprise service bus when it comes to the bus based architecture. So now that you have a basic idea what ESP is, let's talk about MuleSoft, uh, what MuleSoft ESP is. Mule ESP is a well-known integration platform which is provided by MuleSoft. It's uh, one of the major uh, ESP offering or product which is available in the market, though it has some good competitors like uh, compet competitors include TIPCO Businessworks, IBM Integration Bus, WSO2 uh, Integration Platform, and there are some other uh, uh, integration ESP-based products as well in the market. But MuleSoft is... Uh, a very well known and quite uh, gaining popularity in the in the market when we talk about the architecture of mulesoft uh, esp mulesoft esp is a lightweight and highly scalable java based enterprise service bus and it has some of the great features which enable uh, smooth and efficient integration of different type of uh, systems and applications mulesoft uh, esp uh, basically uh, 
hovers around the concept of API led connectivity and it provides great tooling and great support uh, with its rich features uh, include with, with, with all the ESP capabilities to make sure that different type of systems and different type of applications uh, can be integrated in a very uh, efficient manner be it your on-premise uh, uh, deployment or it's on cloud or it's a hybrid type of deployment. It supports all these type of uh, deployments. Uh, MuleSoft ESP has another good thing that is developer friendly as it provides uh, great uh, and advanced support for with drag and drop uh, options for implementation of integration services and flows. And it has uh, quite a, a rich set of uh, built-in uh, ready to use connectors and uh, those connectors can be shared and can be reused. And this brings uh, uh, in any organization into a situation where they can uh, greatly accelerate their time to market with implementation of uh, integration flows quite uh, efficiently and quite faster. So if we talk about MuleSoft ESP, uh, MuleSoft ESP provides a MuleSoft AnyPoint platform, which is basically a product suite or a platform uh, with uh, multiple uh, uh, products or multiple features and multiple options available and it provides uh, uh, you options to not only create and design APIs but also integration flows and you can expose your assets as APIs and you can integrate different system and applications uh, using different uh, features and different components which are provided by any point platform. AnyPoint platform provides different options to handle complete API lifecycle, including design, develop, test, deploy, monitor, and secure your APIs. So uh, the APIs which are implemented and which are designed in MuleSoft uh, using API designer uh, in the design studio, these are uh, based on RAML, which is uh, um, a REST API modeling language. So it's quite convenient and you can easily uh, create your uh, API specifications uh, using AnyPoint platform and then you can have mocking services to test those APIs. Then you can get the feedback of uh, your uh, users and users and then can you, you can have another cycle of uh, uh, same uh, design uh, enhancements and you can do the versioning of those APIs and then finally you can go with the actual implementation of the backend services. So at a high level, if we look into different uh, components of AnyPoint platform, we have AnyPoint Design Center, we have AnyPoint Management Center, we have AnyPoint Exchange, we have Mule Runtime, which is core of this uh, AnyPoint platform, and then we, we will have Mule Runtime services. So I will be explaining these components in detail in subsequent slides. MuleSoft AnyPoint Design Center. This design center provides tools to build integration flows connectors as well as to design API specifications. For any Mule application, flows are built graphically using different available connectors and components. So if you go into the design center on anypoint.mulesoft.com uh, and you uh, go to design center, you have two options. You can create API specifications or you can create a Mule application. So if you want to create your API and with for API-led connectivity and you want to first create the specifications of your API, then you will go with the, this uh, create API specification option where you will have to create your API specification using RAML and in a quite uh, convenient manner with the, its intelligent um, uh, online IDE, at, at cloud-based IDE, you will be able to create your API specification. Not only you can create, but also you can use mocking services and you can test and you can make sure that your API specifications uh, have been created as desired. And once you have uh, done the mocking and you are confident with your API and, and design, then you can share your uh, API specification with your end users and you can get their feedback. And uh, secondly, uh, on the design center, you can use uh, uh, this uh, graphical tool, uh, on a cloud-based graphical tool uh, to create the flows uh, for the integration where you will have a lot of um, ready to use uh, connectors you will have different event uh, sources and event processors. And uh, overall, the whole process of uh, creating integration flows is much convenient and easier, easier using uh, Design Center. Of course, uh, Design Center, which is uh, a cloud-based uh, option to create uh, design flow, integration flows, is not the only option. Uh, in the subsequent slides, I will also shed a light on AnyPoint uh, any, any Studio, which is, uh, uh, which is a desktop-based IDE 
Eclipse based IDE which you can use to uh, implement your flows. Next is MuleSoft AnyPoint Exchange. AnyPoint Exchange uh, provides options to share the assets use, using use existing assets. And these assets include connectors, templates, APIs, etc. So this is a great uh, option uh, in AnyPoint platform to share uh, any reusable uh, assets. Whatever you create in MuleSoft, be it an API, be it a connector, it's a template or something else that's called an asset. So assets uh, uh, can be shared within your organization among the different teams using the uh, API exchange, uh, using the MuleSoft AnyPoint Exchange. And also, uh, if you go to AnyPoint Exchange on your AnyPoint platform, you will also see that there are uh, plenty of uh, assets which are uh, public and which are provided by MuleSoft. So MuleSoft also provides you options to use these uh, uh, assets from Exchange. You can directly get those assets from Exchange and start using them. And also, if you have your own uh, assets created and you want to make them public, you can make them public. And if you want to keep them uh, within your organization privately, you can uh, still publish uh, those uh, assets to the Exchange. And different teams and different uh, uh, integration developers within your team can uh, get benefit from those uh, shared uh, assets on the exchange level. The next one is MuleSoft AnyPoint Management Center. And this management center provides centralized control and management of your APIs, your users, your secrets, etc. And also it provides great options to monitor your applications which have been deployed at your cloud, be it uh, cloud or be it uh, your on-premise uh, uh, deployment. And also it provides you option for uh, monitoring the API performance and define different type of alerts uh, which you which you, you want to uh, implement specific to your organization needs. If you see in the screenshot, you can see that we have different options uh, at Management Center. We have Access Management, where you can manage your users, you can create business groups, and you can have uh, audit logs also uh, managed using this Access Management uh, option. You have API Manager. So the good thing about MuleSoft is that it provides you a built-in option for API Gateway. And then on the Animation platform, you can have API Manager, where you can perform all the management options for your APIs, including uh, defining your op API uh, policies, defining throttling and uh, rate limiting and other type of policies as your requirement. You can define SLAs and you can also define different type of alerts uh, for your APIs. Uh, I will put uh, a link to another video that I created about uh, API management uh, in the suggestion box, so just in case if you're interested to learn more about uh, how API management works. Then we have Runtime Manager, and this Runtime Manager is a very important uh, component of API Management uh, Management Center, where you, you use this Runtime Manager to deploy, manage, and monitor your deployed applications. So whatever you deploy, uh, you, uh, you can um, com completely manage and monitor those uh, deployments using this Runtime Manager. And anytime you have to deploy uh, something, you can use this Runtime Manager. Of course, you can deploy uh, directly from your IDE as well uh, uh, from AnyPoint Studio. But uh, if you go to the cloud and if you go to the uh, AnyPoint platform uh, on your cloud hub, you can see that there are plenty of options available at uh, this runtime manager. Then you have Vualizer, which uh, where you can visualize your overall application networks and it gives you a complete uh, visual, visual uh, uh, depiction of uh, your application networks. Then you have monitoring, uh, where you can monitor, search, and, uh, and alert and troubleshoot. So different type of monitorings you can do here. You can have you can look into the how your applications and how your deployments are performing, and you can have different type of uh, search options uh, to specifically filter your requirements uh, to search for different type of uh, issues, and you can do the troubleshooting accordingly. Then you have Secret Manager where you can uh, manage your public keys for SSL communication. There you can have key stores and then those type of security related and secret uh, related things. Uh, which you can manage using AnyPoint uh, Management Center. Next one is Mule Runtime Engine. Uh, Mule Runtime uh, is actually a co the core of the overall uh, Mule ESP as uh, it's a lightweight integration engine which is responsible for running all your Mule application. So whatever you deploy, whatever you do uh, in your uh, Mule ESP, once you uh, implement it and you are done with the implementation and you want to run it, the Mule Runtime is the one, Mule Runtime Engine is the one uh, main entity which runs, which is in the background and which is responsible 
uh, for making sure that uh, your application is running smoothly and it supports domains and policies and uh, as i explained in the previous slide as well that mule provides you an embedded api gateway and api policies can be defined through the api manager as you can see in this uh, screenshot uh, uh, different type of policies uh, which are categorized into different categories you can decide what type of policies you want to de uh, define for the apis which are running in your mule runtime like you can apply throttling policies you can apply different uh, sla based throttling policies you can define rate limiting and also you can do certain ips blacklisting whitelisting this is just an example of a few of the policies if uh, you go into the anypoint platform you will see that uh, uh, the type of policies that are available uh, are quite huge in number and you can have better control and governance of your apis uh, through this uh, embedded api manager okay so uh, how we implement integration flows as we know that mule esp is responsible for uh, creation of apis and creation of integration flows so how we can define integration flows as we dis discussed before we have a, a flow designer uh, available uh, over the cloud and you can do uh, drag and drop features there as well but for the more sophisticated and more advanced type of uh, design flows normally uh, you will not use uh, online ide rather you will go with the uh, with the mulesoft provided anypoint studio which is a desktop based ide which is uh, originally based on eclipse so if you are uh, already aware with eclipse you it will be very easier for you to understand this uh, uh, mulesoft's uh, anypoint studio so this uh, anypoint studio provides you option to drag and drop different type of uh, event processors and different type of connectors uh, from uh, within the ide uh, which are categorized into different uh, uh, different categories and then accordingly you can configure those uh, event processors and pr pr process your uh, uh, messages and payloads and uh, when we talk about uh, these flows uh, what kind of language you will be using you will be using a uh, uh, expression language known as data v which is uh, mulesoft uh, which which is used for all the mulesoft uh, integration flows where you will be uh, traversing through and transforming and playing with all type of changes and customization to the data which is flowing through the uh, flow uh, using this data v so data v will provide you options to traverse through these uh, xmls or jsons make any changes make any transformations or whatever you want to do uh, during your flow for example if you want to fetch data from the database and then you want to transform it into another format all these type of things are supported by this uh, data v expression language i will put a, a link to a video in suggestion box where i will ex i have explained in detail how we can use data weave and create different type of transformations uh, in our mule flows okay so this is uh, the conclusion and that completes this video i did not go into much nitty gritties and much details as uh, i'm planning to have series of uh, tutorials uh, on different topics and different aspects of mule soft uh, mule esp uh, undoubtedly mule esp is a very powerful esp and it has uh, dozens and tons of uh, features available and uh, such things cannot be covered in a single video so stay tuned with that uh, channel and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, if you have any questions you can put in the comments box uh, i will try my best to reply to you as soon as possible and uh, stay tuned for more videos on the channel thank you very much